course this. Oh. Oh, that's the original <laughs> one, isn't it? Oh, but that's not the tablet. That's not the tablet. That's oh, not the, the tablet. Oh my gosh. This this is the original. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember these. I don't remember these ones. Yeah, disc I disc. I think so that's I think it's a floppy. Oh, that's a seven thousand. That's so th there was a floppy. Maybe it's a floppy disc for that. Mm. Uh, I, I don't remember know. What's this. this? What, that this is, is this it. Is the that paint is box. it. This is it. Black gain and that no. is well. That's the box that was in the machine room at the back because this was so hot that it oh. couldn't get. This couldn't go in the room where you operated. I used to freeze. I used to freeze it. I used to be so cold because the thing that was like air conning this. Yeah. We'd sit there like ice cubes, having fleeces on. <laughs> oh, because where I worked, it was in a machine room. This <laughs> was. They couldn't even put this in the room really? where we were. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> and I can't, but how fantastic is this? Wow. But this isn't the right tablet, is this it? Isn't. This is a later one. No, that's way chunky, mm. isn't it? The one, isn't it, it was bigger though, it was square and it was this yeah, size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The original that's, one. That is cool. But I like this, it was oh. a distinctive colour, wasn't it? It was, Their yeah, yeah. Now was all that colour. I'm just trying to think where that, so that would have been at the BBC, wouldn't it? That would for have been, you, yeah, my for me. one was at MPC, yeah. I was at Moving Picture Company. Yeah. Um, and this demo, so, which you'll be able to watch on the YouTube channel, wherever this ends up, this has got the demo of this machine as wow. done back in yeah. 1970, whatever. Uh, <sighs> well, this is the this was the first paint box, and it was it was the first time. Uh, well, there were two, as with everything. There's always competitors, isn't yeah, there? Yeah. There was the Ampex Video Art, the Ava, was an American one. And then there was the Quantel, which was the British one. British version. Um, and this, this was the first thing where you could draw on a picture. Mm. I mean, it was the first thing where you could physically draw on it It was mind blowing. It was just mind blowing. You, you paint it's like a spray can, but mm. you know, on screen, and you could do yeah. the, the kind of possibilities were just you know endless, weren't they? It was just but the it was problem, the concept of actually having art electronically yes. created on screen. It's just, yes. It's and, just phenomenal. Uh, but the, 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 the thing about this to understand, for a modern audience yeah. to understand about this is that this, this only operated on one frame. Mm. So mm. this is like mm. if you imagine Photoshop, yeah. uh, the equivalent, it was one frame. So until they had a means of animating it, this, this was limited in its use. Yeah. Because you somehow have to, um, you somehow have to uh, uh, get, um, uh, a series of, of it to do an animation or to put it over a live action shot, yeah. you would have to do it shot by shot. shot You'd by have shot. to have some machine do that. But this was the beauty. Oh my gosh, right, Paintbox Express. Oh dear. <laughs> right, I'm going to jump in. <laughs> Let's have a look. I don't know whether it's. Oh my gosh, look at the flickering. <laughs> I'm going to have a go. Look at that. So now, the fact, the that, difference... they've even, the fact that they've even got the monitor yeah. working is pretty impressive, isn't it? <laughs> so that howling noise. That would be down here for us, and it was continuously. And in our case, it was in a separate machine room, yeah, away it in was, the air conditioning. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was so loud. I mean, that, no, we just had a. I thought we had like a, a unit down here, but we did have other stuff locked in a, an aircon room. But um, wow! Oh my gosh! Does it flicker? Oh, look at that! <laughs> okay, so this is just. You see normal. now, this is a very interesting. I think I have to say, interject there that you've done a flick a couple flick. of times so these people can see that again. It is just, I've got to put that on. Oh, right. Look. Oh, God. <laughs> so the flick, so you, the you'd flick. always have now, this. The thing is that, you know, in, even now, yeah. and so we're recording this in 2018, and even now on Photoshop, the menus can't be got rid no. of by flicking like that. And I and do the that, thing is, I do do that. I do sometimes go like that with, uh, with, with the Photoshop and then <laughs> nothing thing. happens. And I've drawn yeah. a... <laughs> and the reason is, you see, that at the point when this came along, the, the, there was no piece of, there was nothing at all. There, wa there wasn't software driven stuff. Everything was hardware and mechanical and, um, or electrical as opposed to digital. And so you never had this thing of a menu across no, the screen. No. And so everything that you did, when you're working in an edit suite, like around there, those beta cams and pneumatics and all the rest of it, um, they, uh, they were full screen. You always had full screen. And so people in that era had never had something else intruding in their screen and they find that bad so uh, but, also not only, but not only that the fact that i'm i'm looking here mm. and i'm operating there now mm. and lots of people were just like well if i'm drawing i have to look at what i'm drawing oh, yes. so it was that that skill of now you know getting comfortable your eye lines there and you're working yeah. there your hands 
automatic. Mm. You got to use the menu. You, it became part of you. Yeah. You knew everything. You knew what it would do. Eventually, you get really, you know, competent with it. But because it's can... a hardware thing, mm -hmm. it, it, so it, it, it's not a generic computer. Wow. It means that you can um, you can make it all pen dependent. And the reason that on Photoshop now they can't have that flick is because most people use them with a mouse mm. and you mm. can't flick no, a mouse. Flick and therefore, although some people use it with a tablet, they can't do that. So on the, on, the, on the Photoshop, you have to use the menus to make the menus disappear. Whereas on this, they've got this gest gesticulation. And so this means that this is far <laughs> more ahead of, in this instance, it's ahead of what we've got now. They're still never ever no. caught up with this. It, it, the, the, the user experience yeah. is not as good it's, on it the was... modern software as this. I, I know so many people that were like spellbound by it that it was when I first when I first saw this, I, I was I was just absolutely taken aback, and I, I saw two guys operating an advertising company, mm. and I just stood there jaw down, and I just thought they were putting a highlight on a P, you know they were they were doing stuff for like static, um, you know an advert, so you know but this. Look, I mean, just looking at this, this is my <laughs> my old MO. So on this, there's, there's there's shots from live VT, and then you could com composite it. So the, although this was static, you could give great storyboard concepts because then you could multi-layer with cutouts, you could add airbrushes, you could simulate 3D, you could use stencils, you know, just some of this thing, get metallic effects, airbrush effect, you could wrap, you could get a, a, a still from a tape and then you can actually warp it into a 3D effect. Wow. Can you make the menu disappear? Here we go, here we go. Can you flick? I can oh. just, I had to do, yeah. <laughs> and off. Was there something, yeah, the palette below, okay, got that. And this is just... And you mixed colour, and they only had, that was one of the great things on this also, like modern systems don't um, are more complicated, give you a bigger variation, but if you wanted to mix the in-between colours, you had to mix them on the palette. Do you remember? If you wanted to make a light green, you, you had to take the green and a bit of white and mix them with a soft yeah. pen and then pick from that and then you could make this independent colour. Well, there's no system that does this. That I, don't, I, don't, I still don't like think that. any, and yeah. this is pressure sensitive. So you can go gently, whoops, there we go, change the colour, and just pressure sensitive so you can get that difference. Mm. There's no, there's no other system that works show like this. Show them mixing, show them mixing and making a new colour. There you go. So you just yeah. touch, just, just go over an old, oops, an old existing colour, and then just touch gently, and That's you it. can you can just pick up, and then that would create, and you could put the put the colour in there, mm. save that. Oh look, it's all working as well. He's got it all working. It's, it's impressive, all... isn't it? So <laughs> click on the colour and save it, and then what you could do then, so if you had um, news or current affairs. You'd have saved palettes. Could you save palettes? I'm pretty sure. Because when save... I used it, you couldn't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Earlier on. I do. You do I, that. I do remember saving palettes, though. I'm sure. I'm sure it must be a different. Is that keep? Different... What's keep? Hmm. That must mean keep. Keep Stop. owner. Keep. Oh, cat. No, cats. What's cats? Cats. Is it dogs? No. Look, <laughs> cats are quiz. So you could write a description of stuff, yeah. couldn't you? Of what oh, right. what it was. So you could identify clearly with date and time and program and. So, yeah. Oh, That's this amazing, because yeah. I only worked on earlier ones that didn't have all that. So they, 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 these are fantastic. This is, so they had paint, you had a paint system. I remember chalk, we loved chalk. Chalk, paint loved was it. paint. Oh, no, see, I was trying to, trying to paint with, so look at that. It's just so, so fluid and there was no, it, there used to be uh, paints on, the, on this palette and you had to replace, do you remember you used to have to replace these? Because so many people go like this on Chat library, line, line, line. and we go library, library, and they'd have holes, and then you'd have holes in the surface, yeah. so that you could, and you could auto. Oh yeah, that's something else. Auto fetch, you can live video stuff. So yeah, you, you could import a variety of sort of ways, couldn't you? You could yeah. do from a live camera. You could take it from DigiBeta. So we could do it all, all, all from an MO. So if I went, to, that's the local. If I went to the local drive, that stuff that was just created and saved to here. So you had two different possibilities. This is all their stuff that's still on here. But look how long it takes to load. Yeah. Chug. And their chug, little and their chug, standard video chug. frames. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll have a look on the <coughs> external. So every show had like their own archive, they had their own system. So we saved in passes as well. So if you're creating a look for a channel 
Um, so I did like branding. So you'd have different passes. Can you see these are all numbered? Yeah. I suppose, so, yeah, there yeah, we go, eight, yeah. four. And you could, you could just pull back layers. And then what you could do if you weren't happy, so if I did five and saved that, you had the facility to save a picture in one. And then you could toggle between that and six. It's a different picture, but save that into two. And then you could toggle, you had this ability to work between these. So you could restore between these images, tray one or tray two it's called. So you could use an airbrush, which was just <coughs> brilliant. And you could have 50%, see I was about to ramp it then like you do on, but yeah, you have to numerically enter that. And then you can restore either with a stencil or you can just go through and just check the paintbrush size. So now I hope, I'm gonna go back to that one. I think if you pressed it, there we go, it gave you a preview. So in news and current affairs, this was brilliant because you could kind of go in and you can get montage yeah, effects. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when it's like the budget or stuff like that, they can... But it's only one frame. One so frame. So well, yeah, you're doing, if you're animating that across, you'd have to do one and then add a but, bit and then one and add a bit. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, stuff yeah. for the budget. Horrendous. You'd, you'd, you'd have static, you know, graphics mm. behind the presenters, wouldn't you? Yeah. And I think some of these... Oh, I'm not great at this, but this, yeah, it has got an animation, so... You can add, and you can buy and sell frames so that it goes on to, let's have a look, see what this is. Okay. So if I play that, ooh, this is, so this is live, no, let's just toggle. <coughs> I would have thought, I could, that's bad, isn't it? I can't remember how to do <laughs> the play. I would thought that was, but that's incrementing frame by frame, isn't it? So you could Looks go like through, it. so this is just a, a static. Oh no, here we go. We have got some life. Oh, and it says feels, so it's feels rather than frames. What is it? Was it this? No. <laughs> I can't remember how he has just played it. Oh, maybe it was. Hang on, was it swipe off and touch? Yes, there we go. Okay, so that's rolling live footage, but mm. played through the RAM corder. So I could go in and say, right, on that frame, stop. And I could, if there was like somebody in shots, or I could go in and just you know comp modify yeah frame. modify that mm. and then you could buy and sell that to back straight onto this ram cord and then play the whole thing back out or you could just drop a frame in that had been corrected so if there's like some drop out or anything you could just go in mm. and you know rectify that mistake mm. um so i think yeah i think that's it you just tap that and then it goes back to the live to the live yeah. video so and that's I remember doing something on MTV. I took in, so that's, that actually is, okay, I only had, I didn't have as much as that on ours. I think we only had 125 frames. And I remember doing like a, a rotoscope, which was like hand painting each frame. And it was very black and white, a bit stop frame animation yeah, of, yeah. of Madonna. It was like a Madonna weekend. And um, I went in with chalk. And so this gentleman here, if I just got, pulled it up to that point, it's funny because it actually is slower. I don't know whether it's because of this model, but actually I feel like I'm still, a, I'm a bit ahead of it. <laughs> but um, that's the chalk and I take that off. So you could go in and sort of add a kind of a, an effect. So it obviously isn't gonna, she's, he's not gonna look as good as, my, as Madonna was on the videos, but you can get the sort of an idea and you can rotoscope and kind of put in different effects. And then you could sell that um, to the now, oh, when you say, what, 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 why do you say sell it rather than save it? You s why was the because term it was the, there was sell and buy, there was sell and buy. Look, that's that's the and but yeah, but why is what, what's the difference between that and saving? Save, which I don't is what know, we but it's like you say, but you say, I, I never used to say I, I operate paint box, it's mm. I actually. I used to drive it. I was always saying, <laughs> <laughs> I did I used to drive it. You just say, well, what do you, what do you, what's your job? I said, well, I drive edit box or I drive Henry or I drive paint box. It's just strange. Did you not? Well, you we did didn't, it? but yeah. when we, had, I mean, the paint box as I did it was the earlier version and then it didn't have, it, it didn't, didn't have, have that. We, we had to do one frame at a time and, and save it out onto a recorder. So if I sell that, um, yeah. um, <laughs> I don't know why I did. I sold that to the first frame and that just jumped back. So, yeah, there we go. I've just put him. 
on the first frame. So yeah. you have to make sure where you're selling it to is the right frame yeah. place on your RAM corder. But I do remember somehow the rat, which is the rat had multi-functions. Oh, hang on, it was buy and sell on here. I think oh, it was- Oh, so you could go click, click, through, click, 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 click. So you could work with one hand, yeah. <coughs> exactly. That's nice. <clears throat> so if I did something, yeah, swishy, a bit more, I mean, this is just, nobody had ever seen anything like this, had they? Just to have that, you, such soft Well, to be able to paint on the paint. picture alone was amazing, but to be able to paint out of focus, that was something else altogether. And you could, you could, yeah, you could soften stuff. So, I, hang on, there's, wasn't there a blur? So there's crisp there blur. There was a blur, yeah, yeah. So with a, you could go in and, and soften stuff, give it more depth of field. And I think if you went off and then came back on again, it gave you another go. I mean, it's that's that's uh, on was, the one I did. It right. was, yeah, it definitely did that. So one of these. Every time you went into the menu and back, you it, went started from scratch yeah. again, so you could blur it more. Yeah. Okay, I've done that. I think that's by. <laughs> I can't quite remember. Did it? No. <laughs> Let's have another go. So if I do something else to this this one, um, I won't blur it. I'll just. Do I have to turn that off? That's all right, okay. So if I had a bit more, and if I just said, okay, that's fine. Click, are you gonna do that? I wonder if I have to be on the frame. Click, and then, <coughs> no, can you remember? I never saw never one used of these. Never used these. That was great. So, I mean, yeah, to have a pen not attached mm. was fantastic because Oh, but the one that would, I used did have it. You used walk off. A cable. No, but the one I, when <laughs> yeah, I used like that it, one. This one, yeah. it was on a wire. Yeah. When I used it, it was on a wire. It wasn't like that. Yeah. yeah. And you'd inevitably yeah. go, I'll just get my tea, and then you'd yank the whole thing and go fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the worst thing now, I, well, I remember, was that I'd put that, I'd clip that on there, yeah. or then I'd go home with it. Well, like, they, 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 well what used to going. happen was you'd have um, the janitors would, uh, I if know. you had <laughs> that sort say. of pen. The, the janitors at night would come in and, they'd, and then they'd, this, this ballpoint doesn't work and throw it in the bin. Throw it in the bin. And then the cleaners would take it away. And you, we used to go through hundreds of them and the pens were like 50 pound each. They or were, something. they were. They were fantastic. It was horrendous. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think any, any went because of, you know, being used that much. They, they were quite kind of well made. Oh, and never knew, never one lasted long enough to break. Yeah. They were always stolen before they yeah. were. Right? Yeah. yeah. And they, yeah, this. The, 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 the point, I think, with the, the fact that it was just so, so, so cutting edge and so sort of... It felt like it was part of me, I think, when I operated it. I mm. just... I had the ability to bring in and send out frames with one hand, create... Well, it was the first graphic user interface, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was the first one that Absolutely. did that. Yeah. Um, there was nothing else. But it, it, going back to that thing about the screen, you know, prior to this, you never had menus on the picture. And that's why Quantel spent so much effort in putting this thing so that it could make the menu disappear and mm. reappear mm. because people wouldn't accept having the menu on there. So they had to have a means of getting rid of them and bringing it back. Yeah. Whereas yeah. with Photoshop, um, everybody now is used to that. So the fact that. But that's set, it's set to the side, mouse. isn't it? It's set to the side. But yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it's just. It was just it's, it's a genius idea. It's and, genius. And, and, and it, you know, so the modern, if you buy Photoshop now, it doesn't have the facility of just no. flicking. No. If you're using. And a also, pen, it the, doesn't ever work. The freedom that way. as an artist to have a, a size this big mm. to draw on. I mean, I, when I'm at home, my little ones, you know, A4, it works. Yeah, but they but sell this, this is, size. They do, in fairness, they do sell like this size. It's just you're too mean to yeah, buy one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I, I has, yeah, that is a good point. But I just, this this is like being part, you know, like a proper, you know, artist desk, wasn't it? You know, you've got, it's ramped up at the side, so it was comfortable to work at. And we used to get, I remember used to get in, you know, paint box hand, I think it was. You'd just stand up at the end of the day. So you'd With it all just all, Yeah, yeah. You, you'd get kind of little... Ridges, but then yeah. the other thing was later on when the people started to realize about backache yeah. where you did you ever work in a place where they had the desk went yeah. up and down yeah. you used to have ones where here there think. was a button yeah. and you'd flick this and the whole desk would rise yeah. and then you'd flick the other and end the of monitor, it would go down so and the you monitor could do it would so come, you could work standing yeah, up yeah. and then you could work, have it sitting down here and you could tilt it more yeah. and, and the, the chairs, whole thing was adjustable and the chairs, chairs as well. Went all yeah, it was. It was you were, mm. and you were there for a long time. Because you'd be twelve hour days. You'd be at least twelve hour days, you know. And that was 
everything from like news to you know advertising to you know storyboards, isn't it? So it was, it was, it was used so broadly on yeah. ev on everything, even for like film storyboards, wasn't it? You could go in and yeah. offer up very realistic, nearly sort of finished end. Yeah. Um, a quick kind of jump to what you could achieve, but at the very beginning of that process, there's a storyboard. So it's phenomenal. I don't think I've got much more on here. That, yeah, these are, I think this was a storyboard. Yeah, this is a storyboard that I was looking at doing. So roughly, I think it was, it was hor horoscopes, but we went in and sort of just did a few sort of grabs, but you could cut out stuff from a magazine, pop it on, give it an effect, and that allowed the producer to have a very clear kind of idea mm. of which they could then say, right, now you go out, you can shoot, you can edit it. Mm. I, I, love, I love that look. And you could deliver that look. In MPC, we ended up with suites that, you know, oh. had the person sitting in the front. It became um, a performance art. It was when, when it turned into yeah. Harry and it, you were able to work on moving sequences, it was performance art because you, you had a sofa at the back and all the creatives from the agency were there and they would sit there through the whole session and they'd terrifying. be saying make it greener make them make the apple greener and make the pear yeah. redder and yeah. you know and, and and make that taller and make more branches on the tree yeah. and, and they expected you just do it like that snip 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 i remember you know. i remember as the operator i remember being being in Horrendous. that seat in that yeah. seat at, at, at that facility and i i remember the screen went black i pulled up um something and the screen went the screen went black to load it and I, all I could see is so I do wipe that. Oh, was it wipe? Confirm? Yes, there we go. And what you can see is your reflection. And that's exactly what I had, a leather suite. You see all these faces. Uh, about <laughs> 20 German clients asking me to concentrate and just refine that highlight on the yeah, P. Yeah. And I remember thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> this amount of pressure and, you know, yeah, yeah. it is very important. These P's had to look good. Yeah. Um, and then I had people from who are a lot older who, I remember I, I think I did an advert for a car, car advert and I, I, I put in some sort of, I, I graded it, it, it looked really great and um, the gentleman was just so blown away by it. Mm. He just, he thought I was some goddess, but it yeah. wasn't, it was this machine. It was just, you know, amazing, amazing. So you could just call up a rectangle, you can make it solid or filled. So obviously that's solid shape and you could, <laughs> it's a bit sticky this one. Uh, there we go, okay. There we are. And you could tap it down. So you could pull up. Come on. That's it. Very quickly, you could kind of get like a montage. Or that could be a key, couldn't it? Do you know what I mean? They could kind of put stuff behind running VT and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, you could do graduated, I think. Could you? Stick values. Mm, don't know that. But you could, I thought you could do that. Or you can go... You graduate, you... Wipe stern, reverse. Picon. <laughs> this is a long time ago. Was it high con draw stern? So wipe stern, high con, I can't remember that, but you could do, hang on, effects, Kia, do all. Is that doing it? You see it's thinking. No. You used to be able to do high con, yes, did do it, okay. So you could choose and pick the lowest value and the then, highest value. Then you can go to airbrush yeah. and you can airbrush across the whole of that so and you take it. off the, the red um, stencil. So you reverse that stencil and, and, oh, and then no, um, paint on. through it. So you'd say, Kia, okay, do, think do all, and you then reverse it. So there we go. So now this was the absolute kind of holy grail now of paint box kind of abilities that you could kick through this. So if you pulled that through that red, as if it was, and the black bits were cut out. If I shot through now with um, an, a, an airbrush effect, mm. it, it would only go to where the black was. So this is something that's never, never done before. So if I go through, and you could add like you know highlights, you know for this was brilliant. Very was brilliant. yeah, you could really give that kind of. This is the first machine that did this. Yeah, like, absolutely. So then, ever. if I take that off, you've got a really you know yeah. very dynamic sort of look you could add yeah i'll do i'll keep so i want to save use that draw strip save picture and stencil so not only that you could also save the stencil which was good because you could same as the t mm. t t a weekly toggle. show you could use it for putting a different title in yeah for instance mm. and so if i did wipe that wipe it 
wipe it. There we go, and reverse it. You could draw in stencil as well. So you could add... Oh, yes, you'd have to be, again, you'd use graphics. And you can just add... See, I'm getting <laughs> too fast for that. So you draw across, I think. It's sticking, isn't it? There we go. Come on. And you could add... Could you zoom on this? No. I don't think that was later, wasn't it? No. OK, so now you can reverse that and, again, add more. And that this looked great for, again, sort of news stuff, news and current affairs. And mm. then you could run text over this and the text. Cut text. So oh, you which is why the keyboard's here, because you can type. Type in, in stuff. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And on from here you could do, you could toggle. There we go. I think you could also browse the typefaces as well, couldn't you? But this one do that. Deletes. I think if you just did end text values page. No, you. I, th I thought you could do that. It was probably me. <laughs> I just can't remember. Turn those off and text. So there's a toggle there, isn't there, to go through? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but that I think you're in it. You're in it. I do. I remember one having the um, ability so you can see all the typefaces actually there. So That'd if you be much wrote later, I would have thought yeah. round up. Yeah. So if you did like, and it's hard to do this on here, but you could. So you could do round, round up. It's so clunky, isn't it? <laughs> but that's not the <laughs> Yeah. So we cut that out. And uh, you had 3D element here, so this this is fantastic because you could then add stencils and drop shadows. So stick. I think you could draw a stencil with that and wipe reverse and stick the stencil as well. So you could airbrush behind that as well. Nobody else had brought sort of text in. It was, yeah. like you say, bringing that kind of moment that it's just all coming from one person. Um, That's right, because previously you had machines like Aston and Riley, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah Aston, a, Aston 3, 4, Caption, a, Abacus. It was all the completely... Machines that were just to do titles just, and just nothing text, else. Just and text. then this here, you could take a live action picture, animate stuff over it, and then put titles on. Yeah. All inside the one digital environment, which meant it was all the same quality. Whereas on the other things, you'd have to go generations. If you were copying and adding stuff, then you had to go generations of tape, and each generation of analog tape, the quality went down, it went noisy, they got edges on things, they, uh, the color went nasty. Um, but as long as you stayed inside this, yeah. uh, the quality didn't change at all. But no. then once you came out, um, you know, you couldn't necessarily make all the change. You, you, you didn't have a stack like you ha have a stack of layers in, um, in Photoshop. Uh, you, you didn't have that extent. You had some things that you could save, but you couldn't, ha you couldn't deconstruct the entire job. You'd have to have saved every pass. Every, every single every thing pass, you did, you'd have you to You could save do it. that. Mm. And you had the ability, so you'd only work efficiently like that. You'd only work one layer, you know, one, one pass, save it to old and new, mm. then go to the next one and save that into... Um, would take forever, wouldn't it? Would yeah, if you wanted to undo, if you wanted to unpick stuff, it, you had to have, that's when we had the MO discs. Mm. Um, so we used to save loads on that. Um, and you did, you, you used to have to save stuff. So you could, yeah, it was just, it was just am amazing. And I think, I mean, I used it at the BBC, at MTV, because that was very, cutting edge then mm. they had they used to have a, a, a really this one doesn't it used to have a stamp effect so basically you could get a cut, cut out like this text and you could do like a smudging effect and you could sell it to different frames so it looked like it was caught in the film loop yeah, yeah. and a really really kind of cool hip look at that moment and uh, you know everybody was doing it you'd smudge it around and it'd animate so it really looks nasty mm. so the rat i think was a way of saving and buying the next frame in so if you've done some artwork and you clicked buy which was there's four buttons mm. and you'd you'd click in one image oh oh well, right you play it <laughs> that play that was play one that was play that's the one first play. button okay play. so that's good 
rotoscoping is basically, uh, yeah, you can either add an effect, so... Um, it's frame by frame, frame matting. Frame by frame matting, frame by frame matting. Or, or special so effects, so you can, yeah. You it's can, where, it, you know, if, if you want to take an actor from one... If you would shoot an actor in a studio mm -hmm. and you want to put them into a background, so say, say it's a romantic blues... movie yeah. and you want to put the romantic couple's final embrace for the last shot in front of Niagara Falls. And, they and didn't the Niagara have Falls is too um, <laughs> slippery yeah. and dangerous and the insurance company wouldn't let Cary Grant go there anyway because he might fall in. <laughs> so you have to shoot them in the studio. So normal way to do it would be with a blue screen mm -hmm. and everything that's blue gets replaced by the background and that would be the Niagara Falls. So you have Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn put magically in. Now, if for some reason you weren't able to do that or there was some reason why you didn't want to do that and you just shot them against gray and you, you had them against an ordinary background and now you've got to strip them. I mean, maybe it was shot against a neutral background or let's say a paint, let's say they had a painting of the Niagara Falls and then the producer said, well, that looks like crap, it looks like a painting. You've got to have the real moving footage of the Niagara Falls in it. So we've got to take them out, but the, the actors are off on other films and you can't get them back and there isn't the money to do it. So then you have to lift them out. So you get a team of artists and they would then paint round the, the actors' forms and then fill it in so that you have a series of silhouette masks representing the actors. Mm -hmm. And then you would use that instead of where like you use the blue to cut it out, you'd use the silhouette. And that process is called rotoscoping, yeah. most famously. Um, and, and it started out in animation, which was when Disney films, where they couldn't quite get a realistic look. When they were trying to reproduce a real person and the animators couldn't get it quite, they would then draw, they would photograph and draw off a real person. So like in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, they famously had an actress who actually they filmed mm -hmm. to be Snow White. And then they drew round her yeah. and then simplified it to look like the animation. Yeah. And that and that was, of course, a lot of people said that was cheating, but of course it isn't, it's a tool. So if but I it's called rotoscoping. Rotoscoping. And you can go in, I like it, but you can, it was very absorbing as well because you'd have to go in and get really zoomed in. I mean, you can see the pixels there, can't you? <laughs> but you just use a smaller, smaller brush. And nowadays, of course, nowadays this is a big deal because we have movies that are full of special effects, and they sometimes it's not practical to do blue screen and and but they're putting computer graphics in. So you can have hundreds of frames with five or six people in them. Mm -hmm. And so that all gets sent out to India. And now there are specialized visual effect companies in India that just do rotoscope and that's just all. They're, and they literally have 200 artists. They're much cheaper there than yeah. they are here. And so we, we have people si set it all up. They set it that. out yeah. to India yeah. and it comes back a week later with Dumb. all the rotos. And you'd have a key, yeah. Oh, but, for example, yeah. I'll give you an example. It's where you would use it now. Where you, well, the reason that you would have to have these Indian shops and hundreds of frames, because you could say, well, why on earth wouldn't you just shoot on blue screen? And the answer is if you've got a film that's in stereo, 3D stereo, um, you know, nobody actually shoots them that way. It's not popular enough. It's only in a few cinemas. So it's all cheated. It's all shot in 2D and then converted to 3D. And if you're going to convert the film to 3D, you have to have cutouts of all the people so that you can put the, for, through the glasses, you can see in different okay, planes. So okay. you've, got the act, you've, you've got the fence, and then you've got the actor, and then you've got the tree, and then you've got the hills in the background. And those would be three planes. So you have to have somebody draw the fence, you have to have somebody draw right. the actors, and somebody draw the bush. And that is all rotoscoping. And that's where they use it now. Wow. I remember spending night shifts at facility houses saying they'd say, right, you know, tonight's work, mm. you're rotoscoping that chap. Mm. And I remember my hand just hurting, and you'd go through, and then you could, you'd have to replay stuff and check that it, you know, yeah, because you, it wobbles. you get the wobble, mm. you get the wobble, and it looks like they're like, you know, got the shake. So you go in, and you could do this the stencil, and I, th oh, there was, was there a high corn? So there we go. It gives you a key, mm. so you could check how tight you were while I'm drawing a stencil in, and you could check how tight you were to the actual image you were trying to knock out. So I think there's a fill, fill. Draw, then fill. There we go. And that's now I do high con, and then that, that's when you'd use the rats as well. You lay that key down. So 
you know, if you did sell that, it would be sold with the stencil showing up, which you obviously wouldn't but in, do. But on the early paint box, when you did that, what you had to do yeah. was you had to do each one of those and record it out onto the video machine, the mm. black and white one. Yeah, the high And yeah. then you'd go in an edit suite and, and you'd play the black and white one and the foreground and the background. Yeah. And on a vision Compet. mixer, like the little grass valley one yeah, around the corner, yeah. then you'd combine it in that. It's so it w but, so it when they advanced to this V-series paint box, look, you can do it all in the machine. Do it all in here. But we couldn't do it on the earlier version. So if you now decide this gentleman's not required in the shoot, um, cut picks then, and know how to use the stencil, you don't have to display it. But if you turn it on to be cut out and just to take that element off, and this could be later, this was, this was footage. Mm. So now this gentleman can be, there he is moved around, repositioned, doubled up. Um, so this, yeah, this is another one. So, so we could, I'm just wondering if that's played out, played out results. You, you couldn't do that though, could you? You know what I mean? You, had, you couldn't animate him. He just had to be stuck down and then that cell was sold but you as could, a static You could have another graphic. background. You could have another background and stick him on to the other background. The cut could, could you, well, you can't play it out from here though, can you? So once we're played if out, you, you oh, keyframes. Do the one frame. Here we go. No, we're on. Yeah. I remembered now. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> I thought there was a button I hadn't pressed. <laughs> so okay, so that's so that is just that background. But you could you could move this. I'm sure there was a way. Well, of, and the other thing on. is you could paint him out very background. slowly, methodically. Okay, you there we go. You could paint him out of it. <laughs> and she's off. So yeah. that that's it. Yeah. So you could have this gentleman doubled up or cloned and it, or this 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 could have been live footage i think you could probably cut that out and you can do carts picture no I th maybe it was just statics with this but you can move this along you can keyframe it so this was what you were saying earlier about you know like a dve but this was a dve within the paint box so if we said that's fine it had an automatic mode where whatever you went if you move now along to frame 41 and picked him up and just moved him across that would attract it. You can see it's adding the key points. Um, and also it had an ability to either accelerate or decelerate. So you could get it to ramp up or mm -hmm. slow down. So, and if you want to delete those, so all those keyframes are totally, you could edit, edit these. So, or I could just say, I want him just to travel across there. And can you see that it shows you the line. The line. Mm -hmm. So that's on, I think if you double pressed it, it there we go, it turns to edit. So you, for me, I found that it, if you'd made a, a slight change, it automatically laid that keyframe down and it was quite hard to kind of get rid of it. Get again, rid of it. Yeah. So you go back a few keyframes, pick that one up, copy that across. So I think if you hit do it, that's the processing time. And every frame was stamped down. Can you see? And that's it. That's processing, I hope. Let's just uh, look. Is he moving? Really is. Let's have a look. It should be. There we oh, go. Yeah, it's very yeah. slow. <laughs> so if you then, yeah, it wouldn't go back to where you had left off. If you press do it, it's going to go back and do do the whole thing again. I might have crashed it. <laughs> is that a sticky moment? Oh, there he is. He's oh no, it is. Going. It, is it is. It is. That's it. Yeah, that's. They very rarely crashed. The, uh, I, don't, uh, I had a few when, times when where they, when it crashed for me, it would be the cross would stick. Yeah. So you, yes. you, your cursor yeah. would be stuck on the screen. You'd move the pen, the cursor mm, didn't move. Just, and it just sat there and that was yeah. it. And then you had to go into the reset, press the reset yeah. button. Check the disc, reset, wait, count to 50 and back up. Well, I had mm. times where in news for um, uh, Business Daily that this was not a great moment. I remember trying to get this machine back up and running in the ad break. <laughs> <laughs> standing by just giving the you know the, the, the gallery time for there i'll be be ready to play out or not and we could play out without you could turn the cursor off and you could play out live your your animation from yeah. the paint box which is <clears throat> which is great so i remember doing one um a promo and i took in a load of um footage from madonna weekend uh, yeah. it was it was madonna video and it already been kind of cut and kind of messed around so it had a kind of jumpy feel and I then knocked out all the colour and with a chalky effect, I painted in um, like a background and I painted on her face as well. So um, it had a real kind of messy, grungy kind of feel. So And flickering. And flickering because yeah. of that. So we, I kind of gave it like this highlight, highlight around a halo, 
that is the biggest, isn't it? Chalk. Um, and went round, and I, I did buy and sell. I went round the whole video, and obviously this, this was, you know, prettier, prettier kind of footage to deal with and stuff. But you can also kind of take it back. If I had saved that, and we can do restore a bit. There we go. But I, I haven't saved that original one, so I would have stored it and sort of played around with the depth of that, so it didn't look so kind of crass. But it was, it was such a unique f effect. I wash over her face again, giving it this sort of grungy feel. Yeah. Um, and it was then cut into um, the information about that promo for that weekend. It was like Madonna weekend, come to dinner with Madonna. Yeah. You can win tickets for so and so if you kind of you know go online. But it looked fantastic, and I, I remember doing about three different colourways. So you could just do white, you could do the greens, and but it just it looked absolutely fantastic. And I remember playing it and showing it to to the appropriate boss. And although it wasn't, I wasn't actually doing that job at that time. Um, he used it, and you can still Google it if you call yeah. up Madonna Weekend. Yeah. It's still on Google, so it's still on um, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this was, this is just um, using a static frame that was created, and you could again, it was used in, <coughs> in the graphics part of it. So you had all access to creating circles or solids, and you could replicate that. So obviously, you start at a bigger, bigger circle, stamp it down, size that up, stamp it down, so you get a kind of an, an idea. So this would. This was probably something that I, I did for like a, a storyboard. Some elements would be created out of the paint box and some of it would be used with, with it. Um, but again, it's, it's more the sort of feel of what the title sequence would have been like. So you could go in, but I could, I could animate, not that, paste up. You could animate that. <laughs> I think I saved it. Um, so you could build limitless amount of layers. I think was it in one go on how, which was this animating, you could have 99 cutouts, which and process you could process that in one go. So obviously you set it up and then you really go home because this thing would just go chug, mm. go through all the layers and chug. But this is like a DVE um, move, so you could get that to zoom in. You could have a key in there you know, and go through to the next shot. So you could, when you created um, branding for different channels, like um, I work for Trouble, for which is like a flex tech channel, and you had to kind of come up with the whole branding look. So not only the ident, so that piece that, that says like, you know, if it was BBC with the two being unzipped, uh, not yeah. only that, but you had to think about how, you know, the continuity of how they ran programs together. Um, so for Trouble, which is a children's channel, we had to think about banners, um, end and front title sequences, um, how they run into different shot changes and stuff. So something like this would work really well. And you could just give this to, you know, obviously this is just one layer, but if you speeded this up over a short amount of time, so you could set, I think, the keyframe amount. So this would be like a five second move. So you could do like for bumpers. Bumpers, and If it was a commercial exactly. channel to go between yeah. the ads and yeah. things like that. Yeah, and you yeah. can come in and out. Um, and again, it would just be um, do it. You do it and try it. Um, again, you could have different layers. You could have all this text popping as well. So you could set a load of keyframes. Um, to animate and, and make it a kind of a multi-layered pass um, and, and give that to, I mean, it could be very quick. You didn't have to have a key in it, you know what mm, I mean? You yeah. just give these bolt together elements that you give to an editor to make a program, um, which was just fantastic. Best thing I've made, I don't think there's anything that exciting that we fixed, but the most exciting thing I've made was, it was film and I did um, special effects on uh, Goldeneye, which is a long time ago, James Bond film, and they basically had all these monitors, and they wanted like sparks, and the whole of this um, area was blowing up. There was <laughs> bombs. There was all this pyrotechnics. They filmed all that, and then they wanted all these other elements, you know, put in, and I had to paint this 125, no, 125 frames. It, apparently, he said it just looked terrible, and I had to do it five times and eventually they got that kind of sparky electric kind of look mm. that they were looking from from me and uh, yeah my hand felt like it was going to fall off <laughs> it absolutely fell off but we used to joke around a lot with various clients we'd when i worked in rome we'd have um some people that were very into very traditional very smart like almost like news and current affairs looking mm. graphics and we'd obviously in this palette We'd have a, a, obviously, you know, save like I said, save palettes for different channels and stuff. And we used to make this gold up, which obviously you can't get uh, metallic gold. But you know, if you look at this, um, still, come on, 
was it on this or is it the further forwards? This one. You can get this this kind of gold feel. I even used to, I remember doing that saying, come on. <laughs> there we go, this kind of gold look. And the client would say, oh, you know, we, we need our gold for this. This is, this, can you mm. pull up the palette with a whole, we had about like 15 types of gold. And I remember being in the room with one of the designers and they went like this. Oh no, like this. And the, and the producer, like, what's, what's up? Because we've run out of your gold. <laughs> and they, <laughs> they actually believed it. <laughs> and we used to wind them up and say, oh no, it's gone, it's run out. We have to order some new from Quantel. You know, it just hasn't, <laughs> it's run out, it's run out. <laughs> and they were like, oh no. Like, so we, we used to, yeah, we were, that wasn't me. It was, but I was in the room and I had to, kind of agree with them saying yes it does happen sometimes our quantel golds do run out but obviously it doesn't because you can raise everything we, were just <laughs> we did joke a bit <laughs> but how did you jump to then get to do it professionally that was just a lucky a lucky break and i had an offer of a job the job at bbc as a graphic mm. assistant mm. um that was still nothing to do with paint box or designing mm. um i was just anything to do with text yeah so the designers say, right, on an Aston, something like that, a keyboard, can you type up all the um, names or the credits? The credits, yeah. Um, anything static that was text-based, I had to load onto a big, big sort of like disk drive. The disks were about their size, mm. big chunky things, um, a floppy disk, and that was it. They took everything to the suite. Mm. Did so everything. you pre-taped all the stuff in? Yeah. yeah, but I had no look in as to, I thought I'd be assisting this designer. Mm. I thought, mm. oh, what do you do? And can I help? Mm. But it was door shut, mm. thank mm. you, just type that type up. <laughs> and I thought, mm, I don't, that's just not fair. Because <laughs> I know what's behind mm. that door. Mm. Mm. And there was paint boxes. So the designers were in there, you know, working away, storyboarding, you know, bringing elements in. Mm. And then they'd leave it with a pen there. They'd leave the cutout, whatever cutout they were using, ready for the next day mm. and close the door. And it was in a suite like this with the drive I think pretty much there as well and this sort of size and I I let them go home and then I went in and I sat Talk there yourself. and I and I taught myself but I had to be careful because I made sure the pen was exactly where it was and there was nothing yeah. there was no trace yeah. back to me no paper yeah. trace back to me at all I had to make sure that the you know whatever the the palette with palette was I had to put that back the last paint you know the last command was saved on that so and I did that for about um, about two years, and then. Oh my he, God! I thought you were going to say two months. <laughs> no, I just played. I just played with it every every evening. I would just when they'd gone yeah. home, and I then just what, played. A job came up. Then I then I left there because it just felt oh. so. Mm. Oh, it was just too. So you never containing. got to do the pin box there. Not no. there, no. Um, I did some freelance work, and then I uh, was offered a job at MTV. As so, a pin box artist. No, still no. not. No. <laughs> um, I had Aston and Autocue, I was brought in to do that. So I was sitting there in the gallery doing mm. two jobs at the same time. Mm. But in the next room was this, yeah. again. So I helped, I, I said I knew basics and they'd bring in freelancers, they didn't know what the machine did. I trained mm. them up and then they did my <laughs> job. Did job. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, please let me Very go, please. Just nobody would let me go because I was doing too much in the gallery. Mm. And also at that time, I don't know, it was just, there was only me and another person that was female. It was mm. all male. Mm. And that was another kind of... Horrible. Well, you mm. know, you should just go back and do the typing yeah. attitude. So um, it, was, it, was, it was good. So um, I then got a lucky break and got, went to... I uh, was offered a position at Orbit. And so you never did it at, at MTV, MTV either? Nope. So that's three places that's, you were, two, th where, where they two, had it. And, yeah, I couldn't, and I couldn't, couldn't get it. <laughs> and then the big jump was at Orbit, I was allowed to use uh, Paintbox, Hal mm. and Henry. So those are like the parents yeah. of this. Yeah. Mm. This was bolted on to the, the, the Hal and the, and the Henry. And you had the ability then to go in and you could take in live video, you could animate live video, yeah. you could wrap it into 3D forms. You could take in 3D, um, work and import that and with henry you had the ability to edit so and that was a different kind of platform where you had literally like rolls of film yeah. and you can composite different layers and add different effects you could key you know it was, it was just like a whole world yeah. and they said well, would you like to come and do that and it took me about that that long the only thing was that it was in rome yeah. so that wasn't you know 
too hard a kind of problem to but put up quite with. nice yeah it was fantastic i i made wonderful sort of storyboards and we did it was like no holes no 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 no, no what's the saying no it was limitless what we could do nobody said no so we were like lighting stuff setting light to stuff under the camera. Mm. I did that on blue underneath, which is horrendously <laughs> dangerous because it could have damaged the camera. I recorded mm. it, I took that in, so I had real flames coming out and mm. using that as a wipe. Fantastic. I did set a light to the floor tile, but we had some stuff down to put it out. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was, it was fantastic. That was, and that was, I mean, hours and hours we'd be mm. doing it because it was like in a candy shop. You had that ability to think, Right, this is, the, this is the kind of idea what they'd like. And now what I'd always do, I'd always give people three concepts. So I'd work out storyboards and I knew the first one, I'd say, right, I reckon that's the best that I can do and give them two other options. Mm. And then they would, they had that option to say, oh, maybe we can bring that in or that in and three, 3D mm. elements. And then we went ahead and filmed stuff and composited it. So, I mean, it was great. It was, uh, yeah, it was a really, really exciting time. No, very few, people were given the opportunity that I was mm, given mm, from fantastic. from nothing to because it was yeah now, now what we've got nowadays the, the only way to learn it was to learn it mm. there was no courses mm. there was no colleges so you had to sit there and think well I want it that much that I'm going to I'm going to get it mm. I'm going to do it and learn it you know bit by bit I when we go down to the edit suites and just watching editors with the Aston and um, laying stuff down and I didn't know what they were doing and I would go, why is he going backwards and forwards, man? What you, you know, just, just edit it. I didn't realise that was pre-roll and there was all these yeah, other yeah, things. I'd be like, come on, <laughs> I've got other suites to go and look after. But um, yeah, it, it, I learned, I definitely learned on the job. Self-taught all the, all the way, really. 